for this DIY, you will need four Dollar Tree candlesticks, three different Dollar Tree angel figurines, two candle holders, three Dollar Tree mirror candle holders, one pack of the um, these candle motif that they have, some spray paint if you choose to paint your figurines a different color, some of their Dollar Tree diamond wrap, E6000 glue and a hot glue gun, pair of, pair of sharp scissors, <laughs> some of their Dollar Tree green garland vines, if you choose to. You will also need a pen, a piece of foam from packaging, which you can recycle, or some cardboard, um, some contact paper, or I'm using a floor tile that I purchased at Home Depot for 89 cents and this one has a sticky back and you will also need a carpenter's knife to cut this once you measure it to this this is an angel that i bought 50 percent off at rite aid and these are the angels that they have at dollar tree now these are really shiny and I want to give it a matte finish like this angel with this matte finish Rust-Oleum Ameri American accent. So I'm going to go give it a coat of paint, not too heavy, just a light to take off that shine. And I will be back. Okay, so I've taken my three of the four candlesticks. And I have two that are the same shape and two that are two and two, okay? You could buy them all the same shape, but I decided to go with two and two. Now I have, I've spaced them out, so there's three. The fourth candlestick, I am going to glue on top of the middle one so it has height. Now I've put this like this and I've measured it and I've measured it, I've put them like that and I'm making sure that I have enough room once that I glue the mirrors like this, and because the candlesticks is what's going to hold those two mirrors, and I'm going to put E6000 here and here, here and here, and I'm going to place the mirrors there, and I will be back to show you how that looks. So this is what you should have once you've separated, spaced out, the candlesticks and you've glued with E6000 on the little edges of the candlesticks the two mirrors that go on the sides. Now I'm waiting for this to dry and I'm going to, while that dries, I'm going to put E6000 around this candlestick and I'm going to glue this candlestick on top of there. While that is drying, I'm going to put E6000 on these candlesticks and glue these motifs on there. So while everything is put together and it's all drying, and I will be back to you and show you what it looks like. Okay, so now everything is drying and I've glued the two candlesticks together I've glued the motifs to the candlestick, the mirrors there, and the mirror, this mirror on top of there. So this is what you should have. And then once that dries, I am going to place the angels on the shelves, but I'll be back to show you because I don't want to put lace anything there yet and for it to all come tumbling down on me. So I'll be back once it's dry. Earlier, I measured the size of this because I had the pieces on top of this foam. So I measured, I made a, um, I made a marking with the pen 
and then I just went over with the ruler and the razor and I cut it. I'm going to take the tile, the marble tile, and I'm going to measure this on the tile. I'm going to mark it, I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to glue it on top of this. And this is going to be the base for my, um, my DIY. So I measured and I cut. I already have this piece down here. And this, um, the sticky stuff is really, really good. It sticks really good. So I measured this other piece over here. And I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to put it there. And it's really easy to um, cut. I don't have one of those carpenter knives. But I do have razors. And um, if you hold the ruler down really really like press down on it really good and then you go over it a couple of times being patient don't rush it a couple of times with the with the razor and then just um snap it it'll come right off and it won't give you any problems so this is what i have this is the foam and the towel is on it and because this piece was not the same with this piece. With a black pen, I came and I made it look like tile. I went over with the blade a little bit, and then with the black pen, I gave it a line so it, look, it could look like four pieces of tile placed together. I'm gonna paint this around here gold, and it's gonna seem like one of those pieces of um, marble that has the gold around it. That's what I'm going for. I'll be back. With the razor, I chipped at the tile. Then I took the tile, I took this entire thing, I flipped it over, the tile was facing down, I spray painted, then I put some spray paint in a little dipping cup, like this. I spray paint until it was like, like I saw that it was like enough that I could dip a Q-tip in there and I could go around the edges of this and give it that stone kind of look. Then I put some, I glued some diamond wrap around all the um, candlesticks on this little edge right here. Then I made sure that it was dry then I put, I glued, I put a little dab of um, E6000. I put on the bottom of the angels. And there's an angel with a violin, a harp, and the one reading is all the way on top. Then once that was all done, um, I put the, um, the vine wrapped around. I put the um, LED candles, I guess that's what they're called. I put them in there. And once all of that is done, you guys are, the DIY is complete. Um, I should have gotten um, some filler so that maybe this could have been like up here maybe. I don't know. Um, but I like it. I hope you guys like it. Um, that is my finish. Dollar Tree Angel Candle whatever you want to call it. I like it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys try it. Um, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope all of you guys have a blessed day. Bye.